Hello everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. Today I came up with another video on JMN on campus placement, a complete pattern plus interview questions. It is for 8.5 LPA and it is occurred on July 2025. Before going into the video, if you are new to the channel, please do subscribe, share and like my videos. If already a subscriber, please hit a like so that it motivates me to do more and more videos for you. This is the ratio between not subscribed and not subscribed people. If you feel these videos are worthy, consider liking and subscribing to my channel. Without any delay, let us going into the video. Coming to the round one, total 25 MCQs, 30 minutes and the camp should be non-conditioned. 5 Java MCQs, Python MCQs and JavaScript MCQs and SQL. Coming to the SQL, they have given some queries and ask the as if they are correct or not like true or false and the last uh, section is either you will get aptitude questions or verbal or logical questions each individual got different questions this is about the round one and it is like simple to medium round if you qualified in round one then you are eligible for the round two i hope you got clear idea with the round one going to the round two it is for 1 hour 40 minutes and there is no cam. They have given 4 coding questions and 4 SQL programs. If you can solve more than 5 or 5, you might be selected for the next round. And round 1, round 2 occurred on the same day by evening. They got the results. Students got the results. It is an on-campus placement. So morning round 1 occurred, evening round 2 occurred, by afternoon round 1 results have given, by evening round 2 results also given and the one who are qualified in round 1 and round 2 are eligible for the technical interview that is round 3. And let us see the coding questions and SQL questions which are asked in round 2. That is password validation, sequence counting hash map string based questions and SQL questions on joins and aggregated functions. Right, let us see one coding uh, problem, password validation, this, uh, these are the uh, conditions in order to be valid uh, password. Minimum length is 8 characteristics and must contain at least one uppercase and one lowercase, one digit and one special character and must not contain any white uh, space characters. Okay, and Java program takes passwords as inputs and prints valid password or not. Let us see the example. If you get this string as welcome at the rate 1, 2, 3, then it is a valid string because uh, the minimum length more than 8. Okay, 8, it, it satisfies that condition. It has a one capital uppercase letter and lowercase letter also and numerical numbers digits and special characters so it, uh, it follows all the uh, rules so it is a valid password whereas hello one two three though its length has eight characters um, though the string has eight characters it doesn't have any special character so it is an invalid password see this is the code i have uh, run that and i have given you the code if you are good with Python or C++, you can execute in that and you can choose your own language. I am good with Java, so I am explaining you with Java. Here the code starts from public static void main string args, scanner class takes the input, enter password to validate. I am storing the entered string in password variable and I am checking if it is valid password or not and the function is called here. And I am checking whether uh, it is um, valid or not. So boolean function. First I am checking whether its length is less than 8 then written false. Whether it contains white spaces then written false. And I am first initializing has upper lower digit special to the false. And special characters I have given. And I am running a for loop. And I'm checking if it has upper uh, case letter, then make it true. If it has lower case letter, make it true. This it means true. And any special characters and true. And I'm returning has upper, has lower, has digit and has special. Then I'm checking over here. If it is valid, then valid password. If not, invalid password will be printed out. Then I'm closing. It is the Java code. If you are good with the Python or C++, you can uh, do the question in that. But the asked questions are valid 
password validation, sequence counting, hash map, string based questions. Coming to the SQLs, they have focused on joints and aggregated functions. Right. Let us going into the round three. That is technical interview one. See, uh, round one and round two are uh, occurred on same day. And on the next day, they have called for technical interview. And it is an online interview. That means students will go to the college under the control of HR. In their laptops, they will give their uh, virtual interview. Right, I hope you got it. The JMN team, HR group will come to the uh, college, on-campus college. Then they will conduct the exam and the students will give their interviews in virtual way. Okay, based on the slots. Some might get their slot at 11.30 to 12.30 in that way. Meeting link is received via mails. And in this round, they have asked about SQL queries, internships, what have you done? In, in, in your internship, okay, what have you learned? What is your role? What technologies have you learned in your uh, internships in that way? And ask you to share your screen and there will be an online compiler. They will ask you to write the code and there will be SQL queries and they check as if they run or not. And they ask questions on basic concepts like DBMS, SQL, Java, OS, HTML, CSS, OOPS also. And they asked to write code on removing duplicate elements in arrays and palindrome question also they have asked. Right, this is about the round 3. And coming to the, the one who qualified in round 3, they are eligible for the round 4. And it is a technical interview too. It is an also online interview that is virtual interview. It occurred in college but in laptops under the control of HR. This is also based on slots. Meeting link is received via mails. And it is on based on project resume details. What is your role in your project and what technologies have you implemented in your project in that way. SQL related questions backend and situational questions and execute some coding and SQL questions. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the round 4. And the one who qualified in round uh, uh, 3 and 4 are eligible for the HR round and it is offline. HRs will uh, take over this round and ask general questions to introduce yourself. What are you passionate about? What skills would you bring to the job and situational questions? In this way, HR round occurred and this JMN uh, is for 8.5 LPM. So be careful while answering and they asked you to uh, share your screen, right? So while sharing the screen, they provided a platform where there will be a uh, compiler where you can code and they will run and execute that. And there will be an SQL tables and based on the tables, they will ask you to derive the information from the tables. Like uh, uh, write a SQL query in order to print top three members, uh, top three uh, uh, employees who got highest salary in that way they will ask okay so you don't uh, cheat in the exam you have to share your screen right so be prepared well and have basic knowledge on dbms sql java os html oops and if you are uh, <coughs> excuse me if your resume has a cyber security then they will ask questions on cyber security and if you are good with the machine learning if you put anything in your resume then they will definitely ask questions on your resume so be prepared and make your resume simple what you know you must keep in your resume and be good your, to your uh, project what is your role in your project what technologies have you used in your project and and if you want to uh, implement your project further what additions will you add to your project in that way also they might ask you so be prepared for that also right i hope you got clear idea right round one mcqs round two coding and sql queries and uh, round three hr uh, tr uh, technical interview and round four also technical interview round five is hr interview right all the best for your exams. Thank you so much. If you feel these videos are very informative, worthy to watch, hit a like, share, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you.